alcohol ablation was first introduced about 20 years ago, but doctors have now refined it as a minimally invasive procedure to fix a damaged heart. As Leslie Mouton shows us for one man, it was a matter of life and death. After one year of recovery from a controlled heart attack, 67-year-old Bobby Bridges can do just about everything again. Yard work, work as a police chaplain in Arlington, Texas, and preach at Mayfield Road Baptist Church. My heart stopped. Uh, evidently, I rolled at about five miles an hour through two intersections and uh, hit the curb, and the jolt of the curb uh, brought me back to life, literally. But the wall thickness here is normal. It's right here at the septum where you've got this big bulging, almost like a D-shaped. Hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, a genetic disorder, was causing a thickness in the heart wall that was obstructing blood flow. The cardiologist performed an alcohol ablation, causing a controlled heart attack to kill part of the heart and reduce the obstruction. Oh yeah, when they induce that heart attack, uh, yeah, it's, it's, heart attack hurts, I can tell you. Immediately with the obstruction gone, the blood flowed normally and Bobby returned to normal life, even preaching again. His recovery was faster than if he had chosen a surgical route. In the appropriate patients that are appropriately screened, it can be life-changing as it was for Bobby. I'm completely a new person. If, if there's any way to describe how I am today, uh, I'm 30, 30 years younger. With a whole new lease on life, Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.